everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the second part of the Halloween event, which I've never done before, called the Little Witch's Broom Race. I don't recall this being a thing when I played. Maybe it was, maybe I just completely missed this somehow, but let's go check it out anyway. It's over on Mirage Isle, and it, it looks like we're flying about. There's actually a lot of decorations scattered around on Mirage Isle, which is really cool. So, we're going to come over here, we'll pick up the quest here. And we get... Five tokens for this, and we also get a broomstick, which is in my mess of an inventory. There we go, so got that equipped. And off we go, I guess. Alright, so... From what I understand, we just get on our glider as usual, but... S is to go up, W is to go down, so your controls are inverted. And we've got to just fly through all of these pumpkin things, these pumpkin shaped things. And this, uh, I believe, is also a achievement for, it's either doing the race really fast. I think there might be one for doing the race really fast, and there's one for also collecting a bunch of these, so... Let's go ahead and do our first, first run. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Hold on. So, we want to go, and then we have a bunch of abilities here. Hold on, let me, let me go away from the race for a moment. So we have Brim Nitro. It does a bit of a spin, we go a little faster. We have Slow Down, which slows us down. And then we have Go Away, which grants immunity to all attacks from Mirage, Ghosts, and Race for 5 seconds. And it has a short cooldown, so we want to be using this a lot. And then there's Broom Smoke Screen, which... Well, makes smoke, but it actually doesn't do anything for us other than that. But yeah, I should probably stop spinning around in circles. You may get a little dizzy, but that's okay. Alright, so let's get off the Broom. I believe we can reset the quest as well by just abandoning and picking it up again. I don't think you have to do that, but I don't know if that affects the time. We also get a second broom for doing that. I now have two. Okay, well, let's go. Let's try this again. And again, we want to just be spamming that. I want to try and collect as many of these as possible. I did skip some of them, that's fine. And the goal is to go through all of these gates. I look like the portals. I hit one of the flagpoles. So I believe as you gather stacks of these pumpkin things, you will go faster over time. All right, let's pop that just to be on the safe side. I am, I am clicking these just because I don't have these bound. I'm just going to keep spam clicking that button, and then I'm turning with WSD. We'll cast again, we just want to keep popping that. We're actually getting a lot of speed here. It's a little hard to, uh... Keep staring. Okay. Ooh. I hit the wall. Okay, this is fine. We do have a few buffs here. We've got the broom, and then we also have the time check. So, you need to finish within three minutes to get the best reward. And I assume you get worse rewards, depending on how s slow you are. So it looks like the timer actually doesn't go off until you get on the broom. So that's fine. And again, the quest hasn't really reset for us, so we're fine. Alright, so let's just go. I don't think we need to abandon it. I think we are good. And we're going to try and stay on track and collect as many of these pumpkins as possible. It might be really hard for me to talk while I do this. I will try to commentate to the best of my ability. Ooh. There we go. We got our first boost there. I think it might be every 10 we get a boost. I don't even think I need to use my speed up ability. We'll see as we get close to the end. 
That person's not been collecting the pumpkin, so they're going quite slow. It looks like there's two different paths you can go as well. So I'm going to go through the gate here. It looks like you could maybe go over instead of under. And we've got a ghost ship over here. Again, there's some really cool decorations during this event. I think this is actually probably the most fun event in our cage. For me personally, at least. So we got a new quest there to go through five more gates. But yeah, I like events that are unique and, you know, they do something a little different. And this is accomplishing that. I'm sure some people won't like it. And, you know, some people always see it as a grind, I suppose. But I much prefer this to, you know, go do a daily. You know, it, it's actually like an activity. I wish all of the events in the game were like this to a degree. Okay, so again, I think I... Could have went a different direction there, it looks like. But I think they always... Oh, there we go. I actually got the achievement for flying for 160. But yeah, um... God, I don't even know what I was saying. Now I'm just that distracted. But uh, yeah, it's just... It's nice to have something that's like an activity. More... Like something that's a little different from the norm. The events are meant to be like a break from the game. For me, at least. So I do like this. I've got 45 seconds left to make it in time. I think this is the last portal as well, so we're good. There we go. Job's done, and we're at the very end. So by the end of that, we got a Witch Token rank 5. This event's going to last 14 days as well. So this will keep going when the initial Halloween event ends as well. So you got two weeks. And how many tokens did I get for that? I got five for that. And for coming at the fastest possible time. I got another 10 tokens. So overall I got 20. I don't know where I got the other five from. I got 15 for finishing the race. Did I get five for starting? I don't know where I got the other five from. Either way, I got 20 tokens. So... Let's see what we can do with that. There's the gift exchanger. We have a bound serendipity stone. We have the honorable victory rank five. So that's just the thousand honor. So you get two thousand honor straight away. Or two thousand vocation. There's then Radiant Haram's Awakening Scrolls. Which you can get five of each for five tokens. So one per token. There's Brilliant Haram Awakening Scrolls. Which you can get ten for twenty. I don't need any of these. I've already awakened all my gear, but hey, that's a nice little option if you want to want to catch up. There's some infusion supplies here as well. Again, if you've already got the 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 top tier, you're probably using the infusions from the garden anyway, so you don't really need that. But again, if you want to catch up, that's there. And then we have a few. A, a, I almost said a fusion box, a fortune box as well, which is twenty tokens. Which I think is what I'm going to get. I could save up for the Serendipity Stones, but... Money, you know? Money and RNGs is... You know what? Let's do it right now. Let's find out... How much money I'm going to get from this. Watch this. We're going to get a thousand gold for the video. Here we go. Got 23 gold. You guys can't see, but I got 23 gold. Oh well. It was... You know. It was worth a shot. But yeah, this event is actually a ton of fun. It's something unique. Again, this is what I wish all the events were in the game. I'm sure some people would disagree. They just see it as a bit of a chore. And you've got to do a bit more than usual. But I don't know. This I really like stuff like this. I think the best events I've ever played in an MMO were... When I played Guild Wars 2 that one time and they had the Super Adventure Box. Which is where they essentially turned the game into a platformer. Like an arcade platformer type thing. I thought that was a lot of fun. I feel like more events should be like that. Also, it's just kind of cool to be able to freely fly about. We can actually just explore Mirage Isle. Oh, and also, real quick, I did just miss this, but uh, we got the title Broom Rider for uh, flying through all 160 of those pumpkins. There are a few more titles you can pick up during this event. There is the No Snow Fear title, which... 
you get for doing the quest 10 times. And then there might be a witch title for doing it five times. And then the Ghost of Mirage is completing the entire course in less than f four minutes, three times. So there you go. And you get a title icon for that one. I might try and do that right now and see if we can uh, we can pull that off. Let me go back to the starts. So again, to go back to the starts, you just want to fly to the floor. And it'll send you right back. So yeah, I'll see if this works and I will get right back to you. Alright, so I've just done that a few times more and I think I did enough to get the other achievements, but I don't think it actually unlocks unless you're doing the daily, so... So yeah, the Ghost of Mirage title icon, I think you can only get during the daily, so... You just have to be fast when you're doing the daily. I don't think you can repeat that. I could be wrong. I may have just done one of the many attempts wrong. Because I, I had one where I felt like I maybe missed the portal, but I wasn't sure. But it, I, I don't know. I don't know what actually counts towards it. I think it is doing the daily quest, though, so... You do this once a day for 14 days. So that means it will be done on the 5th. So I think this event ends on the 5th. So you've got until then to, uh, you know, try and get those titles. I think that's the main thing you're really getting away with, that you're really coming away with. Apart from like, you know, a few rewards that you can pick up here as well. So there's some fortune boxes or maybe a bound serendipity stone that you can come away with. Some other quick, woo. Okay, yeah, some other quick tips. If you actually, um, if you're going for a fast speed, you can use, you can use the broom nitro. I don't think it's really necessary. All you honestly need to do is just keep spamming, go away. Just rebind, go away to a key that's very easy to press while you're using WSD. Or bind it to something, bind it to something on your mouse. That's the only one you really need to use. Because if you just keep spamming this, it's always up and you can never get stopped during the run. Other than that, uh, yeah. There's one other thing. If you're going to hop off your broom like so, don't spawn a mouth right after, because otherwise... Hold on. Hold on. So if... That's... I, so you can teleport back to the start by doing that. That's not what I meant to show. But if we were to, for example, jump off here, if you jump on your mount right away, it actually gets a debuff and then is uh, is killed. <laughs> so, uh, pop puck. So yeah, don't do that. That's something I learned. So yeah, uh, there you go. That is it for this event. There's some neat little rewards. It's a fun event. For me, at least. I'm sure some people will see it as a trial, but uh, it's a good time. I'm enjoying it. I want more events like this. This is it's fun. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual YouTube garbo, and uh, join the Discord as well. I've had a lot more people joining that. It's cool to see. We'll try and get more people in. Hopefully, you know, get a community growing in there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.